hello guys welcome to this video tutorial on this video tutorial we'll be teaching you in three steps how to revive a dead plug so we'll be using one of these dead plugs as a reference in this particular video so before i continue on the three steps to revive a dead plug let me quickly show you how a plug work this is a tg950 generator a two-stroke generator how this plug works is this when you kick start your generator the flywheel and the ignition coil takes spark directly to this point when it takes spark from this point it equally now takes spark directly let me quickly lose this out so you see it then it takes spark directly to this so it takes spark directly to this then the spark comes out from here okay and of course the spark goes into your combustion chamber where it ignites to form combustion okay that is just a brief overview of how a generator plug function so if your generator plug happens to be bad there is no way your generator is going to come up there is no way your generator is going to give spark to the combustion chamber so first step on how to fix your plug when your plug is dead i know this is one topic a lot of people would really want to know but the videos are not really everywhere to to teach them the first step you may know the first step the second step you may know the second step but the third step is one step i have used for the past few years that is relatively unknown to most persons let's go with the first step first step is let's assume you have this plug of your generator and then because your generator does not start one thing that is always advisable to do is to check your foil and then next to check your plug so if there's foil in your generator the next thing to do the next right thing to do is to check your plug so when you check your plug what do you do it's advisable you clean the plug okay that's one of the first steps to revive your plug it's advisable to clean the plug this is how to clean a plug by cleaning the plug you are taking out all the dirt from this electrode okay So by taking out this dirt from this edge, by taking out this dirt from this edge, you have revived this plug only if this dirt was the reason the plug didn't come off. So first step, that is how to revive the plug. Second step, you may have watched this particular part. This this is called the proselyte part of the plug. This part you may have watched it very well but somehow the generator will not come on because these two electrodes may not have appropriate gap between them okay these two electrodes this is where the spark exists in the last few seconds i just explained how necessary spark is to your generator and how it is generated so the spark usually exists between this point this point this electrode this side electrode and the inner electric so when there is no spark between this your generator cannot come on now one of the things that will make spark not to be not to really exist between this is if these two electrodes are too close to each other so next step i always advise everyone to have plug with a gap like this so you can have a gap like this so that your screwdriver can go through so you use a screwdriver basically to as a gap that is in absence of a filler gauge if you have a filler gauge it's advisable you use a filler gauge here. but in absence of a filler gauge it is advisable you use the screwdriver a flat screwdriver so these are the first two steps on how to revive a dead plug and here comes the meat of this particular tutorial this last one is going to blow your mind because a lot of persons really do not know this in fact most technicians still do not know this up to date i got this particular knowledge 
from uh, my dad okay so often at times i notice when a plug like this is dead and of course it cannot bring spark you've done everything needed to be done to resurrect a plug it still doesn't come on what it does is to break this porcelain and what you are successfully done when you break this porcelain it increases the conductance of this electrode are you getting me it's quite technical but that doesn't matter what matters is it works okay so what you do next is to take off this electrode out raise this electrode a little take this electrode out raise it up a little and break the porcelain ceramic okay in seconds because of this plier i have i've been able to break the porcelain ceramic you break this porcelain ceramic and fix the electrode back in position just like i've explained with this you fix it okay you fix it back in position and then if you put this particular plug back in your generator i guarantee you 100 percent your generator will come on okay so what you successfully done by breaking this ceramic is to increase the conductor and allows for this particular plug to still have spark i know this may be quite technical but you certainly have nothing to lose especially when you observe your plug is dead already so the best thing just break this porcelain um compartments and guess what your generator plug will be back to life i guarantee you this hundred percent take me for my word but there is a there's a little disadvantage after doing that the little disadvantage is this your plug may not last very long probably it can maybe last for like 200 hours and after the 200 hours the plug may be completely dead okay if you are from this part of the world you would notice that those people who buy dead plugs there are people who go around from place to place buying dead plug if they notice your plug does not have this ceramic um, compartment they won't buy it from you that should give you a cue that this ceramic you get is still the only thing they revive when they go back to resell this plug okay i hope you've learned something from this particular class uh, this particular knowledge i just shared is not something you get every year so just to support us kindly click, click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and of course share this video with your friends and family do not forget to also join our membership community with a token so we will have access to us and ask us direct questions so of course we can have some tips we have forgotten or probably not been able to share on this channel and we'll just give you the tips directly till we meet in our next video tutorial